This is Kreskin. Of course, you know me as the amazing Kreskin. And I am now covering what's on your mind because I've gotten some wonderfully interesting questions. Uh, I have to tell you one that I'm reading it right off exactly the way she expressed it on Facebook to me. It's from Debbie Gigi. And here's her question. Do dreams actually have a meaning when we dream them? Or are they just pictures we see in our minds? That's a very intriguing question because you understand that dreams have changed the lives of many, many people. And the exciting thing is that dreams are also a reflection of our unconscious, what's been interesting us, something's been worrying us. Maybe we saw a, a, a sh were shocked by an accident that took place and that can become a recurring dream. Or maybe you were surprised at a birthday party that they actually thought of bringing gifts for you, but no, unexpectedly. Those things are very meaningful, and it could be other aspects that could travel, trigger off a dream. For example, let's say that this was a special party for, in which everyone dressed in a blue vest or what have you because of a theme that someone had in mind. You mean to tell me in the future, anytime you see someone with blue on, it would reawaken this experience. The business is, do dreams change after a while? A lot of them are based on, on chance and what you've been exposed to. I, who love horror movies and other, and other major motion pictures, uh, was scared as a kid sometime starting to doze because I saw the, the Jack the Ripper. I saw the Frankenstein monster and what have you. But at the same time, this is part of life. If we're going to worry, if we're going to worry about a dream haunting us after a while, then you know what we'd have to do? We'd have to shut down all our exposure to outside activity because sometimes it can be dramatically exciting. We're walking through a forest with a close friend. You almost step upon a snake and, and the reaction of the, of the uh, animal uh, throws you so that every time you step on something, there's a softness. For a while, that brings back memories. Now, do dreams come true? Sometimes they do. If there are part of your makeup in which certain things are going in a direction, a peculiar kind of direction, so it's no longer that you read letters to the editor anymore. You start writing letters yourself because in your dreams, you see yourself fulfilling a message that you wanted to send to some famous person or some writer. And that is the way the dream becomes a support to you. Now, I like scary dreams, but I don't sleep on them, believe me. At the same time, remember this. One of the great, great gifts of mankind is the variety of their thinking. Don't worry about a dream. Savor it. Make a note about it, and then look back maybe a week later, two weeks later, to remind yourself and see if you've dreamt it again. That's a signal if you've dreamt it again, because it's had some input and imprint on your unconscious mind. But you may not even remember the dream that well. All I can say, folks, is enjoy life and to be continued.